Good morning, Lakeview students and staff. Welcome back to school. This here is Principal Otterson and our assistant principal. Adeline. How are you doing today, Adeline? Good. Another beautiful day outside. Yeah. Who'd you bring with you today? Grace. Grace. How are you doing, Grace? Good. How are you? I'm so good. How do you two know each other? Kinder we met in Ki kindergarten. You met in kindergarten. Do you have play dates? Yeah. yeah. A lot of them? Yeah. I'm not surprised. All right, Grace, give us an interesting fact about you, something nobody would know um, about you. To play soccer. You love to play soccer. What position do you play in soccer? You play in the kick position where you kick the ball? <laughs> no. No, you don't you kick, don't the, kick ball. the ball. What do you do in soccer? You have to like kick the ball. To, you have to try to get so, it in the so ball. So you are kicking the ball. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank goodness. I thought maybe it was a different kind of soccer. Well, welcome. We're glad that you're here. Uh, today is Friday, February 2nd. Today is Groundhog's Day, and that there's a cute little groundhog. <laughs> Do you know where Groundhog's Day started, ladies? What state? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, very good. So it derives from the state of Pennsylvania, and it's a Pets Pennsylvania Dutch superstition. What is a superstition? Is it true or not? True? Hmm. That's something you're going to have to talk about in class. So a Dutch superstition that if a groundhog emerges from its burrow on this day and sees its shadow, it will retreat to its den and winter will go on for six more weeks. If it does not see its shadow, spring will arrive early. Well, it kind of sure seems like spring's already arrived, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah. So are we going to hope for a sunny day today or a cloudy day? Sunny. Why? Because then it's more warmer outside. And then what happens? Will the groundhog see its shadow if it's sunny? Will the groundhog see its shadow if it's cloudy? Uh, no. How about when it's sunny? Yes. yes. Mm. So what happens if a groundhog sees its shadow? We get what? Six more weeks of winter. So do we want a groundhog to see its shadow? No. Oh, so we kind of hope maybe that it's cloudy at least. That's what I'm thinking. All right. In breaking news... <laughs> I want to remind everybody again that when you enter the building from recess, what do we do, ladies? We hang up our, hang up our coats. We walk, we hang up our coats, and we do what else? Sure. Be quiet. Yep, we don't talk until we get into the cafeteria, correct? Yeah. And the reason we do this is I know Mrs. Differding talked to me the other day. She said, Mr. Otterson, it's so hard for me to teach in music. I have to shut the door during lunch because it's so loud. That's a problem. So we have to make sure we're quiet. We don't want to interrupt any learning that's going on. So let's help out Mrs. Differding. All right, on Monday, what time can we come into school? 8.40. 8.40. If you have breakfast, what time do you come into school? 8.40. 8.40. And we are going to show how to do that, aren't we, Adeline? Yeah. And we're going to do that right now. Good morning, everybody. Adeline and I are here to show you how to do breakfast. You ready? All right, boys and girls, when you come in the morning, you just grab your breakfast, get in line, go through the line, scan your cards. Obviously, you wait patiently like everybody is right here, getting their food, waiting to scan out. And then notice how Adeline has all of her food. She has not opened it, and now she's just exiting the cafeteria. Heading to class, Adeline is just going into her classroom where she is <laughs> going to sit down and eat her breakfast. In outer news, stretch. Why? Stretch. Why? 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 Why would you stretch? Do you ever stretch? Yeah, for before games I do. Before a game, do you ever just get up in the morning and just stretch? No. Yes. Well, Why? Kind of, kind of get your muscles moving and everything. <laughs> well, especially as you get old like me, especially like Mr. Iverson because he's like 138 years old. When you're that old, you really do need to get up and stretch. Otherwise, he may not get out of bed. It's a dad joke. Ready for this? What animal is always at a baseball game? Um, a bat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are LB Pride. Goodbye. <laughs>